Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. So this word is very fresh. It's from today. It comes from a vision he gave me. Um, I entered his presence. I was not expecting this. I just wanted to just be with him. And um, he showed me a diamond. I saw this diamond and it was like in darkness right but the diamond was shining it was like lasers coming out of the diamond right and then all of a sudden I started to see color so it wasn't just like la like the blue lasers of the natural color from the diamond it was like I saw pink first and then purple and then hues of blue. Like I just saw all these colors and I'm like, wow, God, what is that? <laughs> Why did it change color? And he said, it's dawning. It's dawning. And I'm like, oh, wow. And then right away he gave me scripture and I'm like, wow. And then he reminded me of, uh, I had just seen this this um this post on instagram um and it was about women dressing modestly and i think it was a pastor who shared it um anyways um and uh he was he was describing the women the woman as a as a jewel like a priceless jewel and jewels are hidden they're hidden underground and then um you have to wait until a professional miner comes and looks for um these 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 jewels right because diamonds are are made formed under pressure in the ground and pearls are found in the depths of the sea and so um he compared women to these very priceless jewels and um was talking about dressing modestly like don't be uncovered you're supposed to be covered right um and wait until a professional uh like a good man right uh comes along and and discovers you right and all that like he kind of used that um like symbolism right um that example um and so here um when god showed me this diamond and although it was shining on its own in the dark um all of a sudden there was all these colors coming uh shining from it right and so god said it's dawning so my understanding from this is that now us as this the women as this priceless jewel as this diamond um we're about to be discovered we're no more underground right so husbands are coming husbands are coming to uncover you to find you okay and the scripture he gave me kind of freaked me out but i am going to attach other scripture to it so first is proverbs eighteen twenty two. He who finds, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18, 22. Wives have to be found, okay? A wife of noble character who can find that, there it is again, find, right? Um, she is worth far more than jewels. And this is Proverbs 31, 10. Okay. And now the, the main scripture that he gave me for this is Matthew 13, 44 and 45. I've read these verses many times. Never have I uh, associ associated them with kingdom spouse, with women or anything like that. And so until today, when God gave me this scripture for this okay so verse uh, 44 says the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field a man found it hid it again then in great joy went and sold everything he owned and bought that field 
I was like, oh my goodness. And in verse 45, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant, a professional, right? On the lookout for fine pearls. On finding one very valuable pearl, he went away, sold everything he owned and bought it. And I'm like, wow, Lord, wow. So for many of you, your story is that you came, uh, you encountered your spouse. You know who they are, you met, and then all of it, it was very short lived. And then you're like, what happened, God? And you may think that they didn't recognize you, that they didn't notice your value, that they didn't recognize your worth but they did and it is because they saw that value in you because they recognized you they hid you and went away i know it makes absolutely no sense but god's ways are not our ways okay so you're over here thinking one thing and now god is revealing is like he knew all along he knew okay he found you saw you and then hid you he put you right back where he found you in the father's hands where you were developed where you were growing you know diamonds are developed and he put you right back where he found you okay and he went away what did he do he had things to take care of here in the verses is like he went and sold everything he owns and as you uh oh thank you holy spirit uh that verse where the rich young ruler um jesus told him go and sell everything you own and then you'll be able to enter the kingdom of heaven and here they're talking about the kingdom of heaven and it's also being compared to a woman because it says the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden and then in all these other verses, it's a woman that's a treasure and needs to be found. So women, you let yourselves be found, okay? You are that treasure, okay? You are heaven. You are like the kingdom of heaven. You are heaven on earth. And that's how uh, these men, your spouses, see you. They see you like heaven on earth to experience a piece of heaven here on earth. They see you that way. Okay. And because they saw that, they recognized you. They hid you and went away. They had to take care of some stuff. They sold everything they owned. And uh, to me, this just means that they went and um, got rid of whatever they had to get rid of. There was a lot of pruning. There was a lot of letting go of old, old mindsets, old patterns, old stuff. A lot of pruning, right? Um, but then he's coming back. He's coming back and he's buying the field, not just the stone, the field, the land, the promised land. You, daughter of God, you are that jewel that comes with the promised land it's not just you i i know i'm like whoa I'm taking this in too i'm like wow lord wow so he knew all along and then just this also because i've been meditating on this because this was just barely this morning i'm like that takes a lot of faith to find something of great value and to put it back where they found it and risk somebody else coming to find it. I'm like, wow, that's a huge, like mind blowing faith in action. You know, putting that trust in God saying, okay, God, if this is really for me, I'm gonna leave this here with you. And when I come back, if it's for me, it will be there for me. That's faith. And mind you, it says, then in great joy, he went and sold. When he left you, when he put you right back, he left with great joy. And it is that joy 
the joy of the Lord that has been his strength during this time. God has been giving him joy. God has been strengthening him during the wait, during that process of him having to get rid of things. But now, because God showed me that this diamond was now exposed to the dawn, was now exposed to the sunlight, it's no longer hidden in the ground anymore. These husbands are coming right back. They already did what they had to do, and they're coming back to get you. Okay? And this time, you're theirs for good, because they're buying the land, so to speak. <laughs> the promised land wow yes so you uh women sisters daughters uh you've been hidden uh you were found but then they hid you right back and with great faith they 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 submitted to the process and now they're coming back and you're going to see the dawn the light of day yes so be ready stay ready they're coming they're coming okay um so that's it for this word if you feel led to sow you may do so details are in the description box god bless you guys bye